What's up with them XXRs there? They're ESRs. Ooh, right here. So for those that have not noticed, we are not at our own facility. Hey, what do you have these brackets? They're for the side skirts? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen them. Look at this. Oh, huh? weird, huh? That is very weird. I've never seen brackets like this for side skirts. But anyways, today we are at Senor More's house. More. There's a More right there. God damn, dude, what are you burning? I gotta take off that wind visor that I broke. It smells like shit. It's like you. So, we're gonna call you Mori. You know, everybody's gonna fucking think I'm Mori now, and I'm not Mori. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, hey, Mori, what's up, Mori? You wanna tell people why you broke it? So, Ooh. we went to do Spocom in Dallas, Mexico. And when we were over there, we are like, hey, well, we're in Dallas, let's check out the area, as anybody else would do. So we went to the Dallas Aquarium, which is really cool. I think everybody should go. It's big, it's like three stories. It's pretty cool. So we get there and we're like, yay, you know. And I close the door, as we're walking, I tell my wife if she got my wallet, and she did it. So I come back to the car to get my wallet and I reach in my pocket for the keys, but the keys aren't there. So you didn't get no wallet nor keys. No, nope. and the <laughs> keys were right, right, right where they're at right now. That's where the keys were. Huh? So, so thank God for them rain guards. Since I had this window cracked, I was able to break the rain guard, grab a stick, and fish the keys out. You have that tendency of leaving a little gap in your windows. So if anybody wants to steal uh, this yeah, car, for fucking time, everybody. If anybody wants to steal this car, <laughs> just use, if you see a park, just break the ring guard. Look, he still has three left. And he these always. Are, and these are the actual Mitsubishi. Yeah, I don't know why he always leaves the window cracked like this much. So all you gotta do is. And then you got some bridge, some Takatas. Just play, nobody go steal this car. I don't think nobody's gonna be able to steal this car, dude. It never comes out. There's no start in it right now anyways. We're always that um, center of attention, not because the car looks good, but because it doesn't want to start. Click, 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 click. <laughs> they all show up like, oh, let's go look at this car. Let's see it take off. And then it's like. That's why I try to turn on the cars before I do. By the time it turns on, it's like the people that are waiting with their cameras and photos, they're, they're gone. They're like, man, screw this car. It's not going to turn on, piece of shit. And they leave, and then it turns on, and then we're gone, and then they're gone. What are we going to do about this? It's ugly in here. It's pretty nice, actually, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this rough black. Mm -hmm. What is it, wrinkle black? Battle can black. Damn. I think you should do it pink. I don't like pink. I think you should do it pink. You want some Mitsubishi parts? Anybody want anybody wanna buy a ring guard? Slend the DMs. Fifty dollars. <laughs> right here. You guys can slide in the DM right there. It's a great car with the black pieces. You got a black bumper? That's gray, wait. Whoa. Look, it's that primer gray. Hey, we can, we can paint them. Look, she's showing some. We can rattle can them. Some nalga and titita. I say you do put the pieces on. Just the quarters and the fenders and the Why don't we put it up to vote? Because Devin's going to vote, no? Devin doesn't matter, he's not here. Hey, Captain Pajamas, you want to say hi? Hi. Tell him what your name is. Uh, I'm Jun <laughs> Well, you want to tell people what you have in your hand? I have a snake. It looks like the SpongeBob uh, Texas worm. It's not, it's not worm, it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake? Yeah. Oh. You want to show people your car? Yeah. Where is it? Okay, can you hear? All right, yeah. we're, we're here. Yeah. Oh, my car. What year is it? Right there. What year is it? Oh, it's a 2021. Yeah. Nice. And 
Are those four Giatos? Yes. Oh shit. Not even your daddy has four Giatos. Look, here's the SRs. <laughs> Is that a Voltex? Yeah. Huh? Liberty Walk? <laughs> Damn. Does it run? Mm, yes. Is it fast? Mm, yes. Yeah? It's like fast like the evil. Oh, it's faster than the evil. God, Jesus. The people heard it there. He said it's fast like No, he said it's faster than the evil. Put it on replay. No, the people clearly heard that shit. That it's faster than the evil. So now we cleared up some space. I gotta buy a bigger memory card because this shit sucks. I got an extra one also. Why you wanna sell everything, bro? Switching. It's starting to be like me now. I saw everything. No, so I you know what's dumb, dude? I put stuff on Craigslist, right? So I put the welder. And uh, this guy called me today. And he left me a voicemail. So I answered, right? Oh, I called him back. And then he's all like, Is it a 120 or is it a 220? And I'm like, Oh, it's a 220. So then I'm like, All right. No, he's all like, All right. Um, can it be changed to a 120? And I'm like, I don't know, dude. I bought it like this. It's a 220. I don't know. Yeah, and listen, so he starts telling me that he's a welder. So long story short, dude, it goes from me selling something on Craigslist to now he's telling me, I saved my number down, dude. If you ever need some services, give me a call. So I'm like, do you want the welder or you don't? <laughs> like you call me for the welder, brother. Now, how do I be, how, how am I the seller and I become the buyer? Like, damn, bro, this Craigslist. I don't know, dude, but comment down below. We should probably cut all his engine bay candy pink. And go back or wrap the evil back to this color. What color? No, that's a nice color, but no. What color is that, baby? Red. Oh, well, because he's changing the wrap. That's why it's gray and chameleon in some areas. He's removing everything. So that's why we're telling him he should do everything pink. Because it's not going to be gray either. It's going to be... Probably bleep that out. Let's give a little shout out here to the ultra racing, Compa. to the precision one crew. Compa. What's that? This is my toy. Oh my god, look at that toy over there. Yeah. Let's give a little shout outs to the team. It's it's a team Advent. Goddamn Pereo reggaeton. Who's having the Pereo reggaeton? Mm. Somebody's having Pereo reggaeton. I hear it. I, I know that's not your boombox. Hey, dude, you should have Fabian do the graphics of the Tokyo Drift. The Scorpion? The 350Z. <laughs> it's a Scorpion, no? Yeah, no, it's like a cockroach. It's not a cockroach. I think it's a cockroach, dude. It's but it's Scorpion. flat black and it's gray like this. <laughs> and then you're going to have your flat black uh, side skirts and then the carbon fenders. I think it's a cockroach, dude. It's a, no, it's a, it's a beetle. Mm. It's a scared beetle. Oh, it might be a beetle. But comment below if anybody thinks it's a cockroach. I think it is a cockroach. It's a beetle. Look it up. I will look it up. Let's make a bet right here. Let's no, I don't want to make a bet. All right, let's make a bet. You buy McDonald's. Okay, if it's a beetle. No, you said scorpion. I'm telling you, it's a beetle. The cockroach, cockroach is closer to a beetle than a it's scorpion. It's a beetle. It's a scorpion. So bet. It's a scorpion. Bet. What are we betting? I'm saying it's a beetle. And what? what who wins what? The McDonald's. You're gonna buy McDonald's? Yeah. You're gonna buy McDonald's? All right. If gonna, I'm right, you're gonna buy McDonald's. No. If I'm right, you buy McDonald's. <laughs> no, you're gonna buy McDonald's regardless. Cause I'm over here slaving. Did you know that that 350 sold? I did. For 134,000. God damn. Transitions in camera, cause um, the camera didn't die. It still turns on, but we're out of storage. Um, I forgot to clear my memory card and it's full. So we're gonna make a McDonald's run because um, fat ass over there is starving. I was having a discussion with a coworker. And I was like, you're a tuner. He's like, no, I'm not a tuner. I modify my car. And I was like, what's the difference between a tuner and someone that modifies their vehicle? I think, a, I think when you tell somebody a tuner, they think, import. They think it's an import, like a, like a Honda. When you tell somebody that doesn't really know about cars, about a tuner, they automatically in their head, they drive a Honda. Mm -hmm. You know? So what does he drive? He's on with that Fury. Uh, ah. Yeah. He's like, I'm a lowrider. I was like, it's yeah. still a tuner at the end of the day. Yeah, so see, people like that, they, 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 
they're offending them. No rider, tuner. They're how come a bitchy perro just chilling on top of the truck? Oh, look at that dog, bro. He's just there chilling. Yeah, that's a new alarm system. Wow. <laughs> what is that alarm system? Viper. Viper. <laughs> Screw Viper, dude. Get a canine. <laughs> He's just there <laughs> chilling on the roof. Come back with some scratches. I'll you 10 bucks. I want to see what your burger's looking like. Pizza. Your burger's be looking like they got meat. Oh, you hope. Because you know what happened last time. You, you got... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Tell my story. Pizza. Tell my story, boy. So that last time, well, you were leaving work, right? You get, so he stops by McDonald's. The same McDonald's, huh? Yeah, it's so the, the same, same McDonald's. McDonald's. Same one. And he says, was it a number nine? No, well, you got It was the exact phone. same thing that I ordered right now. Uh, so he asked for a number nine. And he's all like, can you make those burgers just cheese and ketchup? Right? Yeah, make them just cheese and ketchup and add an extra patty into each one. To make them <laughs> double cheeseburgers because they come singles. So I get home and I'll get on FaceTime with you, right? Or am I on the phone with no, you? No, you were, yeah, you were on the phone. I was just on my phone with you and I'm like, yeah, I, I got to the driveway and I was like, I'm just going to eat it now. I'm hungry, I'm just going to eat it now. It's, it's good. So I get the burger. No, you got home. Oh, I was already you're sitting already down. You're already home, huh? yeah, you're already home. I get it, and it feels small, like the little, in the wrapper, I'm like. like these don't feel like, yeah, like no could be wrong. So I open it, and I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> when I said only cheese and ketchup, I tell you, they literally only put <laughs> Cheese and ketchup. There was no meat patties in the burgers. <laughs> there was only buns and cheese and ketchup. So I fucking, I FaceTime you. Cause I'm like, there's no way anyone's gonna believe this if I don't have a witness. And yeah, sure enough. So I go back and I walk in and the manager right away comes up to me. You know something's wrong when a customer walks in with a bag and not out with a bag. <laughs> So he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I came in and I ordered some double cheeseburgers, but they forgot to put the patties. And he goes, what? <laughs> That's what we specify on so dog meat. I, I opened the burger. Sorry, I opened the buns <laughs> and I revealed that there's no patties. And he's like, what the fuck? So he gets the girl from the back and he asks her, what happened here? Like, did you take the order? And she's like, yeah, I took the order. He's like, so what happened? And in the most sincere and honest voice, and <laughs> she goes, well, he said, only cheese and ketchup. <laughs> so I start to kind of laugh and the manager starts to kind of like, I can't believe this shit. And he tells me, he's like, yeah, but he even ordered an extra patty in each one. And you put no patties. Mm. So she gets all embarrassed, goes back to make the other order. And the manager turns around and looks at me and he goes, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I'm like, ah, nah, that's, there's nothing to say. I don't know what you have to tell you, man. Who are you hiring here? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I come to a burger joint. Hey, let me get a burger, but let me just get that with cheese and ketchup. That means make the burger the way a burger is supposed to be made. Just put cheese and ketchup. I don't want no lettuce, I don't want no tomatoes, no onion, no nothing. <laughs> and this bitch just puts cheese and ketchup in a bun. <laughs> Bro, and I and I had I was this oh. close to saying, okay, if I said only cheese and ketchup, why did you put the buns? I want a little cheese tacos of ketchup. Imagine this, she would have given you some cheese tacos, some ketchup tacos. Instead of wrapping. Well, that would have been too. You have child like this? No. All right. He's inside taking a shower because he has a family quinceanera today. If y'all don't know what a quinceanera is, it's when a young lady turns 15 and she's Mexican. That's what a quinceanera is. So she's 15, she turns 15, they throw her a big ass party. So basically, if you're a Mexican and you're about to turn 15 and you're a girl, you're getting a quinceanera. And if you're not getting a quinceanera, better tell your parents why you're not getting one because you're getting jibbed. Um, it's pretty much when you become a, a little girl to a woman. I don't know how 15 is a woman, but hey, maybe back in the days in Mexico, that's what it was. But anyways, this guy's inside taking a shower and getting ready for that. And I'm right here working on this Evo still. So 
What I'm gonna do for him, I mean, while he's doing that is, I'm gonna peel off the wrap from this door and that door. So I have the heat gun there, and that's how it's gonna look with the gray. That's the original color. And uh, yep, got a little visitor today. Look at, say hi, Chunch. Say hi to the peeps. Say what's up? I was crying, y'all. You wanna tell people what you were crying? No, you don't go damn. But anyways, <laughs> baby mama and the chon showed up, and this little man was crying. Oh, you wanna help? You wanna peel the wrap? Huh? Peel it. Come on. Pull it. Pull it. Brother, right there. Yo, yup. No, hey, let's go inside. Come on, both of you. Oh, easy there with the wing, brother. You think it's on film? If there's any chips on the wing? It's the owner's own kid. All right, let's go inside, guys. I think that's enough for the evil content. Well, that's not enough, but that's all we have time for today. We just go. Sorry, bud. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's all we have time for today because you guys need to go party. And I need to go home and just relax. Trunch. You want to go to the 360? Trunch. It's a completely different look from the last time we saw you. I don't look too bad. Wow. I clean up good? Yeah, especially if it's dark and you run. <laughs> you should put some armor on them. Let's try it. Give me five. I, away. I don't think Tarshan will shine them up, but maybe Armor Us and it shines up the dash is really good. Take them to Alex. I got some. <laughs> See if he can buff Alex, them up. can you bring the shine back in these? See if he can buff them and up. And then coat them out. We're going to try some Armor Off. And a sponge. With a, with a sponge. Try it. Alright. They look shiny. You see if that shine stays? Yeah. Uh, and this, that would help. Pretty sure it'll stay. I mean, it stays on the dash, it's pretty good. All you needed is to last a few hours. Right? Just the entrance. Just, ah, look at Primo intro. He's looking sharp and sharp and shiny. They're gonna be like, where'd you buy them shoes, cuz? I think that helped, actually. Yep. You'd be surprised with a spray of armor on the sponge you do. There's your, what is it? There's your life hack. There's your, there's a story of the day. Some armor is shining. So if you're going to a wedding and your shoes are dirty, <laughs> just look into your glove box. You might have one of them. And use a no mess applicator. Yeah. Yeah, take them to Alex, see if he can ceramic coat them. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Boom! Transition from Angel's house to my house. So Angel ain't the only one that can get ready too. I'm doing this on purpose because the wife over there is getting pissed because I'm over here flexing on the nation. But peep the outfit for the day. We're going with Mr. Batman. Mr. Angel's going to his quinceanera. We're going. Where are we going? Uh, Union Draft House. We're going to the Union Draft House, whatever that is. And yup, this is how the outfit is. One of the new 3F Aqua Blue. Mm. Sleeves are hugging. We got some torn light blue jeans and some vans. And just like that, I'm gonna end this one in my restroom. Cause I'm still, I'm already ready, but just gonna throw in the little cologne and we're off. So with that being said, 
Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.